What's up guys, it's Pierre, and in this video I'm just gonna go through all the shoes currently in my house and tell you what I think about them all. First up, we got The Bulldog by B-Dog Sport. I'm actually reviewing these shoes right now, and I really like them. They are made by a pro squash player and his business partner, another pro squash player. So they've been made for squash. Stay tuned for a review about these. These are 130 bucks, got really good grip, and I really like them. Next, A6 Gel. Tactic. These have been a long time favorite of mine. I used these on the squash court for several weeks for testing and I later switched over to using them on the pickleball courts. They have continued to perform well for me. I like the extra cushioning that they give me, especially on the outdoor courts that aren't as soft as squash courts. These have continued to be a good option both indoor and outdoor. Asics Gel Tactic. Highly recommend those. They're currently about 80 to 90 bucks depending on where you look. Next we got the Salming Strike. Actually the Salming Recoil Strike. This is one of the newer models from Salming. I think this is about 160 bucks in the US right now. Salming gave these to me to try out. I haven't used them that much. I did test them out on my feet briefly but I haven't used them on court too much. One of the nice things about these is that they're very padded on the bottoms. John from Salming was telling me that this is a great shoe for coaches because they allow you to stay on your feet all day and give you a lot of support. I kind of prefer a shoe that's lower to the ground. I use, you'll see in a second, the A6 Gel Fastball, which is pretty low. So I haven't really gotten into using these in high level matches yet, but I'm planning to give these guys a shot in the future. Next we've got the A6 Upcourt 5. These are a low cost shoe from A6. They are 60 bucks, I believe. I don't use these too much, but I keep them in my trunk because they're all white and one of the clubs that I play at a lot has an all white clothing and white shoes policy. So I keep these in my trunk for when I go out to Marion. These are very good value for money. They're a little bit stiff, I find, in the sole, but I'm still playing league matches with them once in a while whenever I go out there and they perform the job well. And they've been holding up reasonably well. Like I said, not much wear and tear on these. I only use them for certain clubs that I play matches at. Next we've got the Asics Gel Rocket 10. This is one of Asics's most popular shoes. Probably the most popular because it's a uh, low cost like the up courts. I think these were 70 bucks. Yeah, 70 bucks. So I haven't used these a whole lot outside of testing them out for videos, but they have pretty good grip and they're basically good value. My one beef with these is that the, my foot slides in them a little bit. This material is a little bit too elastic for me, so I don't have that feeling of my foot being secure on a lunge, which makes me a little reluctant to bring these out, you know, at match time. Last but not least, we got my favorite shoes at the moment. These are the Asics. Fastball 3. These are my favorite because they have really good grip. They're very low to the ground. They're lightweight. They hold my toe nicely and they have held up under much play. I've used these all season and like unless you really zoom in you can hardly see any damage on these. I'm gonna have to retire these due to the odor before I retire them due to wear and tear. Actually the sole is starting to wear down all the way through and kind of lose some of its tread. So I may just lose the tread and have to get rid of these before my toe breaks through the, the material. Oh, I bought these from Europe. I, they're, I'm looking right now, fastballs are about 170 bucks, but they're going out of stock. It seems like I'm going to have to find a new shoe to recommend as like my top choice. <laughs> But until that moment, I did something not that insane, but kind of cool. I bought my first pair of shoes from Japan. That's right. If you go on Squash Source, you can click under any shoe and say search eBay. And that's what I did for my fastballs. I couldn't find them in the US. So I bought these babies from Japan. It's a Asics Fastball 3, Asics Gel Fastball 3 colorway. Oh, look at this color scheme. I love it. It's pretty simple. It's white, black, and silver with a gray sole. I love it. This is going to tide me over as I investigate all the shoes in the universe that could re potentially replace these if they go out of print. So look at those bad boys. There's a few different color schemes available, or at least there were when I bought these a week ago on eBay. So if you like the fastball, you might want to grab a pair before they go out of print. That's all I got for today. If you want to have some more shoe updates, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Aw.
I just discovered that my shoes from Japan, they sent a tiny origami swan along with the shoes. How cute is that? Probably can't see it, but it's cool. It's cute. Trust me, man. See ya.